Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have three bouts left. Our three big title fights of the evening remain. First up, Amateur K1 title over three two-minute rounds of action in the welterweight division. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing Thai fighters, London, Robertas Urbana! So this for the amateur K1 title here at Lion Fighting Championships. Robertus pushing forward, Tom looking to keep him at range. Pulling forward, Robertus looking for the big right hands early. Tom Byron. steps back and out the way, but you can see Robertus is just forging forward, looking to throw that huge right hand. Relentless. Relentlessly coming forward. Not even stopping for a breather, just constantly chasing his man. Well, Tom's done well here to stay composed and look for his own shots back with the legs. And now he's firing hard and he's caught Robertus here, Tom Warren. What a war between these two. And he, now he's Tom Warren stands in the pocket with him. He caught Robertus with a couple of big lefts there, Mal, which I think slowed him down. Robertus has expended a lot of energy here. And Tom let him chase him for the first half minute, then suddenly stopped and fired back midsection sidekick here. Nice right hand again, Robertus, that's his weapon. Tom fires back, right hand, right leg. He doesn't need to mix it with Robertus at the moment. Robertus has put so much energy into this. If Tom keeps the range and then fires back like that, look at the body language of Robertus. He's put everything into this opening minute. That's right, and for me, Tom should just chop away at that body. 
keep hacking. You can see Robias is almost out on his feet with exhaustion. He's just got to keep the range. Keep it long. Long legs, long punches. Don't risk that big right hand coming in. That's Roberta's danger punch. Don't take the risk with that. Well, even the power, you can see the power faded in Roberta's shots. Roberta's has gone for broke here, Rob. He's come out like an absolute train. And he's still looking for it. Look, he's come out like a train in this opening round. And nine times out of ten, there's a good chance you get the stoppage with these heavy, heavy shots. Well, wow. Blistering opening round. Roberta set out his stall early, came out like the old proverbial bull in the china shop, threw everything. He picked up the kitchen sink, he threw that as well. Tom, for a lot of the time, stayed calm and then fired back. Now, for me, after all that energy exerted in the first round, if I was in Tom's corner, I'd say, keep it long, keep him at the end of those legs, then throw the long punches when he's off balance. Got to be honest, I think with Robertus, you're not going to be able to tell him anything. He's going to come flying out like a train again, looking to land those bombs. You just get the feeling he's that sort of fighter. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't much composure, to be honest, Malk. It was all guns blazing. And Rob, it can land, it can be over. He could have won that fight in the first 30 seconds, had that title back around his waist, be heading back to his changing room now. But for me, Warren's got to fight smart. We've seen ability there, we've seen technique. He's got to fight smart, keep it at the end of those long legs, and then engage when you've got your opponent on the back foot. Don't stand, don't come into his range to trade with those heavy punches. Why risk that right hand that can end your title hopes with one shot? They stare across the cage at one another. I'm telling you now, Robertus will come flying out of him. A round kick high from Tom. Robertus looking to close the gap. Tom jumps in with the round kick again. You can see Robertus is holding that right hand like ready to pull the trigger. It's like a shotgun, that right hand. Waiting to go. Look, there it is, look, he's, yeah. he's pulling it back ready. He just wants to fire it off. And that's what Tom's got to do, keep that range, look. Make him chase you, make him, and just when he's about to throw it, hit him instead. Yeah, Pre he, preemptive he, striking, Rob. He used a lot of energy in that first round, that Malcolm. Like you say, Tom can fight the smart fight here and walk away with that belt. He's already keeping him at range now, fighting at long range. And when Robertus comes in, cocking that right arm, red, there, that's what he wants, look, the right arm. Don't be there. Yeah, be out of the way. You don't think, I don't think there's honestly a plan B for Robertus. Tom can use a plan B, he can stay sensible. Work around that right hand, just like that. That's where you need to fight this. Just like that. Yeah, smart fight. What you can't risk is this. This is Robertus's chance in every fight he's in. That's the chance, that right hand. And you can see how deep he's left breathing after that little barrage, Mount. Tom's breathing heavily, he's hurt, he is hurt. This Tom's is the chance trouble. he's got. This is the chance that Robertus always has. Now Tom fires back, what a war. This is brutal, Rob. It really is. For a moment there, it was almost like Tom stopped breathing and stood still as Robertus flew forward. I think it was the nose. I think he took a shot to the nose, which literally stopped him in his tracks. Both fighters swinging and still around to go. Wow. For a lot of that round, Tom fought the sensible fight. We knew there's no plan B from Robertus, but there comes a point when he catches you and he kept going. And I thought for a moment there, Tom was dead on his feet, but he came back again. You just wonder how much either of them got. Look, Tom's just collapsed in the corner there, his feet splayed. We're saying how much has Roberta's got left? How much has Tom got left? That, that was a war, Rob. Yeah, both of these guys are feeling it. But Roberta's still up on his feet. He will keep going with the same tactics and you can see, I imagine, in many of his fights leading up to the, the title fight, him stopping people first, second round with this swarming style, especially when he's fresh and he comes at you like that. Yeah. Unless you know how to deal with it, you don't let the man push you back in a straight line. You've got to move off that line. 
We've seen that Tom's capable of that, but he's been dragged into the war and he's paid for it. That's right, he's getting involved. That said, for us, it's wonderful. And for the crowd, it's brutal. It's non-stop. So the third and final round, is there a sting in the tail here? But you can tell how much both these men want it. Both have had opportunities to quit. Tom comes forward with the sidekick. And Robertus, watch him come forward. Look, the right hand, he pulls the elbow back. It's almost pulling, like pulling back an elastic band to let it go. Watch the right arm. He doesn't just bring the right arm forward, he always pulls it back to get extra power in, which slows it down, sadly. If he just throws straight from there, Turns but the elbow hit. comes back. Beautiful. But this is the thing. What Tom's finding out is Robertus doesn't know when he's beaten. He just keeps storming forward. Look at him. And again. Now, what is this? It, that this is breathing problems here for Tom. He's dropping. Was that, was that a groin? Is he saying that's a groin shot? I'm not actually sure. Referee's looking on. Is that a groin shot? He's holding his groin now, isn't he? Was it a groin shot? Now, I personally, it was so fast-paced and frantic, I didn't see it. Is it a groin shot? He's back to his feet. Yeah, he's, I think he's saying it's a groin shot. Yeah, he is. As I said, it was so frantic, Rob, it was hard to see. Everything was being thrown by them both. It's been that sort of bout. Limbs are flying everywhere. They touch gloves and Robertus comes flying. Tom just tucks his head down and throws back. He's got the mobility, look, he's got the movement. But he's been dragged into a war by Robertus, who takes that head kick and just storms forward with the right hand again. He, he's an absolute bull, this boy. Look, it's definitely absolute a bull. case of drive forward and see what happens. Both fighters just throwing everything they've got left in the tank. But who wants his title bad enough? Well, Robertus has gone upstairs. He's grabbed the bathroom sink as well, mate. He's thrown everything here. What a war of attrition. And he clips him with the right hand again. He's non-stop. It's what, look, look, look at Tom's legs. Look at Tom's legs. You this is pure instinct, good, Rob. This is pure instinct. A few good solid leg kicks would go, go down well right now. Being warned for the back fist there. Just thrown randomly out of desperation from Tom Warren. And Tom breathing desperately. Robertus, what a beast this man is. He just keeps flying forward. Look, he grits his teeth. He shows you the right arm's coming, then he throws it anyway. He says, you can hit me with what you want. It's coming. It's coming, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, Rob. That was an absolute brutal war. And both men are still there. Incredible stuff. That was a great match. One of them's got to wear the title. Let's find out who.
Thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, what a worthy champion, Tom Ward! 